one other bad problem that we had was we had the, the we're surrounded by neighbors on sides that got cows, and we had some cow infiltration into our plot. So as soon as our the beans got up, corn, some of the I think corn probably got a fifty up, sixty head out at one time. Yeah, was. they they found a gap in our fence, and then we you know had to let the neighbor know that you know they got to keep their cows on their side of the property, and that was a struggle. And they were still finding holes in the ditch where the fence. They don't found the groceries. Room. They wasn't leaving them. Yeah, and it was. I mean, we were running. I mean, there was one cow that was determined to come back. <laughs> and I don't know how many times I ran him out of the field. So that put a hurting on us too. That was bad. And I mean, I don't really know a solution to that. You've got to work with your neighbors. You got to, yeah. you know, we, we weren't, you know. Oh, nobody's we ugly. With the yeah, we weren't ugly neighbor. about it. Oh. We were just like, you know, look, we, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to do some experiment over here. We're trying to grow stuff for deer. You know, nothing against your want, cows. Not a but, Jersey cow. Yeah. If you want something good for your cows, we know what yeah, to plant. Yeah, yeah. Nothing against your cows, but yeah. let's keep them on, you know, that side of the fence. Man, I'm on your cried. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I, I went on vacation and was, you know, it was about 10, 12 days that I didn't go to the farm. Well, none, none of us went down there. No, and, and the hot. cows knew. Yeah. I, I had just sprayed that field, and I hand fertilized all that corn because we didn't have a we didn't have a tractor pull of the spreader. Throw, spreader that we had, and so I wound up having to do it by hand. So I throwed six, seven hundred pounds of fertilizer by hand, and man, that stuff was—I knew it was going to jump. I was like, "I'll come back and it'll be over your head." And I turned the corner; and it looked like a desert. <laughs> I just sprayed everything, so everything was dead, you know. And then, man, and there was there was nothing. I mean, there was absolutely yeah. nothing. There was no corn. There it was all—you could tell where they ate it down. They I mean, ate it was just the dirt. It they was ate just the corn pies, at the house. cow pies <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, there's no. They had free reign for a couple of weeks. Man, I come around through there and up, up by the pond, and they was well, it was about forty. Yeah, 50 when you called me, you said it was about thirty forty in the shade. Yeah, I, oh yeah. Man, I was ready just to. <laughs> we have hamburger meat. Yeah, we were fixing to eat some hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad. But we think we got the. Do you think you got the fence fixed where they were getting in the last time we saw? Right, yeah, I mean, it's fixed. Yeah, took yeah. a little extra barbed wire and two posts, and I bought some barbed wire from the track supply when we on the way down the other day. So. Drove to the fence post we had and strung up the barbed wire. And it was just a washout was what it was. So fences on a ditch, you know, as they wash out, the deer cross them. But as they get wider and wash out more, if you got cows or something, they're it's gonna not going to hold them in. I was surprised. I don't know. I still don't know where they're coming in the ditch. If they're walking that whole ditch down to find that to come in, if well, they're see, coming down to the side. There somewhere and goes kind of back south, back yeah. towards. There is a split there somewhere, yeah. and I think they're coming in over there somewhere too. And just walking right down mm, the ditch because the, the ditch is dry. I mean, Which the neighbor 